Hi everyone, in this video I will give you an introduction to stochastic calculus. Stochastic calculus is a branch of mathematics that deals with random processes. It has links with other mathematics branches, probabilities of course, and differential equations, and is widely used in quantitative finance, particularly for option modeling. Ito a Japanese mathematician pioneered the field inventing the concept of stochastic integral and stochastic differential equations. In order to define a stochastic integral, we first define it for elementary stochastic processes which can be expressed as a sum of stochastic variables ai times the indicator function for the time interval ti-1 ti. For such processes, the stochastic integral between 0 and t, xt dwt, is equal to the sum of the ai times the Brownian increment between ti-1 and ti. For a general process st, the stochastic integral is defined as the limit of the integral for an elementary process converging to s. If we calculate the stochastic integral between 0 and t of the square of dwt, we find the quadratic variation of a Brownian motion, which is equal to t. So by taking the differential, we can write the following expression, which is very useful in stochastic differential equations and integrals, as we will see later. The square of dwt is equal to dt. The Ito isometry allows to calculate the variance and the covariance of random variables which are defined by an Ito integral. The expectation of the product of two integrals over a Brownian motion wt is equal to the expectation of the integral of the product by replacing the square of dwt by dt. An Ito process xt has the following form can be written as its initial value x0 plus the integral of a process mu over time plus the integral of another process sigma over a Brownian motion. Itolema is one of the main results in stochastic calculus. The derivative of a function f twice differentiable in x and differentiable in t is equal to the derivative of f with respect to time times dt plus the derivative of f with respect to x times dx plus half of the second derivative of f with respect to x times the square of sigma times dt, x being an Ito process. To demonstrate it, we do a Taylor development of f at the second order. The square of dx has the following expression. The first term with the square of dt and the second one with dwt times dt are equal to zero, while the third one, the square of dwt, is equal to dt. So the square of dx is equal to the square of sigma times dt. The following multiplication table is a good summary of Ito's lemma and is very useful when resolving stochastic differential equations or stochastic integrals. All terms are equal to zero, except dwt times dwt, which is equal to dt. A stochastic differential equation has the following form. This is a generalization of standard differential equations where one or more terms is a stochastic process. We only consider continuous processes, we do not consider here processes with jumps. The first example is dst equal to a dt plus sigma dwt with a and sigma constant. By integrating between 0 and t, we get st equal to s0 plus a times t plus sigma times wt. So st follows a Gaussian distribution with a mean equal to s0 plus a times t and a variance equal to the square of sigma times t. Another important example in finance is the geometric Brownian motion, which is often used to model the dynamic of stock prices. dst is equal to mu 
times S times DT plus sigma times S times DWT. Mu is the drift of the process and sigma is its volatility. The solution of the stochastic differential equation is ST equal to S0 times exponential of mu minus the square of sigma divided by 2 times T plus sigma times WT. To demonstrate it, we apply the Ito's lemma to the log of ST. The first derivatives of log S is 1 divided by S and the second derivatives is minus 1 divided by the square of s. So we get d ln st equal to d st divided by st minus half of 1 divided by the square of s times the square of ds. dst divided by st is equal to mu dt plus sigma dwt and the square of ds is equal to the square of sigma times the square of st times dt. So the differential of the log of s is equal to mu minus half of the square of sigma times dt plus sigma dwt. When integrating between 0 and t, we get this expression and we deduce the solution of the equation. The log of st divided by s0 follows a normal distribution the mean is equal to mu minus half of the square of sigma times t, and the variance is equal to the square of sigma times t. Thank you for your time.